Hi guys, welcome back to my XPS guide. Now I'm gonna review Emperor Shira. He is a fire trainer, that's why I compare him to Nyx. He also can support your party really, really well. So I think Tidus is a good comparison for him because Tidus is also a trainer and he also able to support your party very well. Like you can see that his base attack stats is kinda low. It is below 150. However, his attack passive boost is insane. He gets attack plus 100%. So it is one of the highest boosts for non-awakened character. As a comparison, Nyx only gets 70% attack boost. I know Nyx has dual wield, but let's just talk about that later. For Tidus, he only gets 50% attack boost without awakening, but 120% after awakening. So yeah, I think Emperor Shira's attack stats is pretty good. Not only that, he also has Demon, Dragon, and Plant Killer. For survivability, he gets health plus 30%, defense and spirit plus 20%, which are pretty good, well balanced between magic and physical defense. He has resistance against Confuse, which is extremely important for physical attacker. However, the best thing is the charm resist. Like you know that charm is a status effect which cannot be resisted through normal way. So definitely nice to have this. He also has 50% innate fire resist. So with Ivrit, he has 100% fire resistance. The last is Auto Refresh, which is common for 5 stars heroes. And that's all his passives. In my opinion, it is pretty good. I know, okay, he doesn't have innate dual wield, so maybe it is a little big turn off for newer 5 stars base for not having newbie friendly be friendly passive but still 100% attack boost on waker is insane okay so it compensate that so enough about stats let's move to the abilities now let's talk about his chaining skills first he has two chaining skills a who behung and and straighter sorry okay guys i know this is german so even my english is bad so Really sorry if my pronunciation of this skill are wrong. So this skill are quite powerful as unawakened trading skills. So the skill has exact same hits and frame delays. The difference are on their damage and side effect. And straighten doesn't have any side effect, but it deals higher damage than a Hubehu. Ehu Beung itself is very nice fire imperil ability. It imperil 60% fire resist. As a comparison, Nyx King's Glaive only deal 4 times damage and only imperil 50% fire resist. Both of these skills are also non elemental, so yeah, you are quite flexible on the battle. Also, you don't need to worry about the fire element if you don't have weapon with that element, okay? Because you can imbue fire element by using his other skills. Using Smerzen, you can add fire element to yourself for 3 turns. The skill also deals 3.2 times fire damage to enemy. So really, you don't waste a turn when add a fire element to yourself. He also has multiple AOE attack which you can use depending on your situation. The first, Hellshaft. It deals 3 times damage to all enemies and has 30% chance to inflict Paralyze. With Dual Wield, this can be a good ability to use on the PvP battle. Especially if you have Razmatas, you have a chance to inflict 3 ailments with this. Okay. The next is Repression. This is for imperil enemies fire resist this is important if you fight multiple strong enemies for example kraken type okay they usually have multiple body parts so 
yeah, they also usually weak against fire, so pretty good. Okay, the next is Zig Soldat. I find that this is the least useful AoE attack. Sure, it buffs 50% fire resist to all allies, but the problem is he has better fire buff. So I think instead of using this, it is better to use command to protect. So this one is very good buffs. First, it buffs your essential stats, defense, and spirit by 80%. 80% are very high. As a comparison, Lunera Song gives you 90% buff, so yeah, only 10% difference. I know that her song buffs your attack, magic, health, and MP. But the point is, you only need to cast this once and can act on the next turn. You can also easily rebuff your resurrected dead allies. Unlike the song, this makes him a good character to use if you use Bard as your buffer. The 70% fire resist buff is niche, but still, it is very useful when needed. One thing that bad from this skill is the MP cost, but like I said, it is best to use him with a Bard buffer. If you use Lunera or Ramza, then I think 72 MP are not that big. Simply use it on emergency though. After all, he is an attacker, not a buffer. He has Reinforcer, which can boost his LB fill rate by 200% and attack by 80%. It is good, but in my opinion, his LB is not that great. So I don't think this is good for you to use unless you want that attack plus 80% buff which is easily overwritten by top tier buffer. The last side skill is unhesitating will. Again, this one is pretty niche and I think if the enemy able to break your stats then it is better to bring someone who able to give all of your allies immunity against the break because Emperor Shira is not a tanker which can guarantee that enemy's break will hit him. His LB like I said it is not great okay it is not bad but I don't think you can chain this with anyone beside himself. The ailments are not that useful on hard content because many enemies are immune against them. It is not useful for the arena because you need to gather the LB crystals first. Also, this one needs 20 LB crystals to be used. The mitigation effect is also fixed at 30% so I don't see any reason to level up this LB. Simply save your burst pot. Enough about abilities. Let's take a look on equipment. So you must equip him with sword to get that 100% attack boost. Luckily, sword is a good weapon on this game. For newbie, you can easily get enhancer. No, he doesn't have dual wield, so he need to equip that Genji gloves. But if you want to make him into double hander, then you can do that too. Okay, but remember, there is no two-handed sword at this moment so yeah it is not that he won't be as powerful as true double hander okay he also cannot use his chaining skills twice per turn like prompto so i think it is better to make him into dual wielder now for secondary weapon i suggest you to equip fire elemental weapon the easiest one is hoemaru it is a katana so you can get yeah, 50% attack boost through Katana Mastery. Also, yeah, Koimaru is easily obtainable because it is from 3 stars base, okay? So, but if you lucky to get to get Fargas before, okay, you can use Dandelga. But, yeah, many of you probably not have him, okay? The difference between Katana and Great Sword is not big, okay? Because yeah, Emperor Shira cannot equip heavy armor. If you're able to equip heavy armor, then maybe, yeah, you will miss Sword 6 Pride Dark. But 
since you don't able to equip that okay then it is okay to equip katana enough about equipment my conclusion for imperial shira he is a good character definitely better than useless goner joke his chaining skills damage are top tier his support skills are very good however he has one major weakness he doesn't have any chaining partner other than himself so you need duplicate which is unusable on 10 man battles but it is not that bad because his chaining skills have 10 frames delay so even when you cannot chain it perfectly you can yeah at least chain quite decent with others also from what i know his seven stars form is pretty good but let's save that talk later in the future his Trust Master reward is also very good. You can use it on Onion Knight, especially if you use Onion Armor for your Onion Knight. The bad thing is, if you use it, then it means you cannot equip Dark Knight Soul, okay? Because Dark Knight Soul require you um, require you to equip Heavy Armor. So in the end, Sword is still inferior than Great Sword because yeah. There's only one fifty percent attack boost mastery that you can get from sword, okay? And yeah, in the end, I think Emperor Shira is yeah good character, okay? He is definitely ten out of ten, but since he doesn't have any training partner, then maybe nine point five is the right score for him. I can say that. He is rich man's Zoji because he has some of Zoji's skills. So yep, I think that's all you need to know about Emperor Shira. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy Brave X Guide. Bye bye guys.